Hi, it's Chris with Implied Music, and uh, I want to look at a book today. It's an important book about harmony, originally published at the beginning of the 18th century. It's Rameau's Treatise on Harmony. Well, I got this edition of the Treatise on Harmony um, 40 years ago, probably, and I bought it used for 25 bucks. I don't know if you can find it around. It's probably available online. Mine's in very good shape. I've kept it in um, good condition. I love the French front piece, right? It's crazy. This particular edition was published in 71, um, but the original is from 17... 22. Rameau was a French composer, and what's notable about this book, and I think it's really important, is that it begins to codify the use of um, dominant chords as the strong leading tone signifiers that we've come to use today. And each of these chapters really sort of starts to dive into it. Uh, Rameau was a keen observer of what was going on harmonically. And of course, 1722 is the middle of the Baroque period, right? We're really not even talking about classical harmony in the way that uh, you and I understand it now. So the Baroque period was characterized by polyphonic lines. But um, even then, the sort, of, the, the sort of structural realities of tonic dominant relationships and of what would become homophonic form, that is to say, classical and pop song type chords melody relationships was already beginning to come about. I just love that this is uh, available to us, that we can dive down into the thinking of a producer, say, you know, of the early 18th century. So he begins, and I think this is really, really important, with a study of the actual physics of sound. And that's the way I like to begin with all of my students as well. Um, the fundamentals, the overtones, the relationships of fifths, perfect consonances, and then imperfect consonances. And he goes on from there to talk about basic counterpoint uh, and the basic principles of composition around them. And, you know, there's just a, I mean, it would definitely help if you read music, I have to say, in order to deal with these things. But wow, what, you know, it's a, it's just a solid introduction to the way things were being done 300 years ago. And if, if you're a musician and you don't think it was important how things were done 300 years ago, I, I really have to try to disabuse... How can I disabuse you of that opinion? Um, the intuitive understanding that you have of music is founded on the experience of listening that you've built up over your entire life. And that's certainly true for me as well. I expect things to be a certain way. And the reason I do is because that's the way they were presented to me. My own... I'll just say unconscious bias, and unconscious bias turns up in a lot of ways, doesn't it? My own unconscious preconceptions about what music should be were founded on how things have been done. I want to know how things have been done because I don't want to be prey to my own preconceptions, right? So Rameau, an 18th century French Baroque composer is a great study for us. And not just him, of course, but like almost anybody who's got uh, something to say about the way classical music was built, about the way arrangements are handled, about how orchestrations um, are part of our world, they can be valuable for us. Other books for me that have been super important, and I'll just kind of list them, and we don't want to you know, go into great detail about them right now, include um, Schoenberg's book about harmony, and then Vincent Persichetti's 20th century um, harmony book, which is exceptional. Basically, what we learn is we can do anything we want, but it's also really important to know 
what's come before us. I definitely stand, as they say, on the shoulders of giants, but I also want to be able to step off and fly away. <laughs> so I'm just trying to know what my footing is, you know. Jean-Philippe Rameau, well, this is a Dover publication from 71, as I said, and uh, the book itself originally published in 1722. Music, what a concept. I hope this has been useful. Like and subscribe, click the bell, and you'll be notified when I do my videos. I'll see you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.